I've read a lot of comments in my past few videos about how people are planning to do one playthrough just to focus on social stats and another to focus on confidants. And I always find this strange seeing as the game provides ample time for the player to do both. Still, I've received a massive amount of questions with regards to maxing out confidants and social stats, so as a response to those questions, I put out a video last week providing all the information you need to know to maximize your time with regards to confidants. This week, we're going to talk about social stats. Before we get into the video, I do just want to remind you that I stream most days over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rosalindgaming. You can find a link in the video description below. I run a pretty chill and relaxed stream, so feel free to come hang out and ask any questions. Also, I'll leave a link to my video covering Confidants and Persona 5 Royal, as well as a link to my Persona 5 Royal playlist containing all my coverage of the game. Social stats have been a core system in Persona titles since Persona 3 on the PlayStation 2. They govern whether or not you are able to talk to certain people in the games, achieve certain tasks, or even how well you do on your tests you take throughout the game. Persona 5 Royal has five different social stats. Knowledge, Guts, Proficiency, Kindness, and Charm. Each of these stats also has five ranks associated with them, with rank 5 being the highest. When completing certain tasks within the game, the player is awarded points towards a social stat, and when a certain point threshold has been crossed, social stats rank up. Much like with Raising Confidants, the amount of points the player gains is indicated by music notes. One note equals a 2 point increase, two notes equals a 3 or 4 point increase, and three notes can indicate an increase of 5, 7, or even 10 points. In general, performing an activity that awards points towards a social stat will award the base points for the number of notes indicated, though there are some exceptions. Obtaining the higher increase in points for a given music note level comes from outside modifiers such as the weather. Sadly, the game doesn't provide the player any exact numbers on how many points they have in a given social stat. However, you can get an idea of whether or not you are close to ranking up by visiting the bathroom in either LeBlanc or at school. Moving on, let's actually go over all the different ways to gain social stats. Though before we do, just a heads up, I will not be listing every DVD, book, movie, or game title, nor the stats that they provide, as this information is usually provided in the game itself. I will however provide you a point range for what you can expect to obtain for completing those activities. And with that out the way, let's start with knowledge. You can expect a 2 point increase for hanging out with Mishima, answering questions correctly in class, studying in class, solving the crossword puzzle, answering the quiz show questions correctly, and from the drink stand in Shibuya Station, though not every time. There is also a one-time knowledge increase of 2 points if you ask for information from the information booth in Kichijoji. Studying at LeBlanc will provide 3 points normally, but if done on a rainy day it will instead provide 5 points. Studying at the cafe in Shibuya provides 2 points normally, but provides 3 points on a rainy day, in addition to 2 points in another stat depending on what you order. Studying at school provides 3 points normally, and 5 points on rainy days. Reading any books that provide you with knowledge will net you 5-7 to seven points depending on the book upon completion, and playing the one game that provides knowledge will give you a 3 point increase if you succeed and 2 points if you fail. Seeing a movie at the theater will provide 5 points for the first time and 2 points thereafter. Should you accept the study invitations from your party members leading up to exams, you will earn 5 points for each study event you attend. If you choose to study when given the opportunity to slack off in class, you will obtain 3 points. Depending on the customer, you can also gain 3 points for working part-time at the bar in Shinjuku. And finally, you will receive 2, 3, and 5 points respectively for completing each of the Big Bang Burger challenges, though 0 points and knowledge are received if you fail. Moving on to Guts, you will obtain 2 points when hanging out with Takemi. Finishing any book that provides Guts will award 5-7 to seven points. And finishing any of the DVDs will provide 3 points each time you watch until completion. There are two games you can complete for Guts, and those provide 3 points upon completion and 2 points if you fail. Each of the movies you can see in the theater that provide Guts give 5 points the first time and 2 points thereafter. Studying in the library at school while it's not raining will provide 2 points, but only up until the end of the Kamoshida story arc. Visiting the public bath and attempting to stay for a long period of time will provide 2 points of Guts, assuming that you fail. Making curry at LeBlanc provides 2 points, but this requires you to have Sojudo's confidant at rank 4. Accepting the hangout invitations from Ryuji for July 28th and for August 13th will provide 5 points each. Similarly, accepting Futaba's invitation for September 25th, Makoto's invitation for July 28th, and Haru's invitation for November 13th will provide 5 points each. 
There are also two one-time opportunities in Kichijoji to earn two points. They are sitting on the sofa outside of the furniture store during the day and checking the donuts shop at night. If you examine the blackboard in your classroom any time after October 31st, you can earn a one-time point increase of two points by putting the Phantom Thieves logo on it. Selecting Fix It during the Maid Cafe event scene will provide you with two points. Ordering hot coffee at the diner in Shibuya will also provide two points. Depending on the customer, you can obtain three points while working at the bar in Shinjuku. Taking the Big Bang Burger challenge will provide you with two, three, and five points depending on the challenge level regardless of whether or not you fail or succeed. And finally, the drink stand in Shibuya Station will occasionally give you two points. Moving on to proficiency, you will obtain three points for hanging out with Ui. Making infiltration tools at night will provide three points with a chance of providing five. Completing any of the books that increase proficiency will provide five to seven points. And viewing any of the DVDs that provide proficiency will provide three points each time until you complete them. There is also one game that provides three points for completion and two points if you fail. Seeing the film that shows at Shibuya's movie theater during October and November will provide five points the first time and two points thereafter. Working part-time at the Beef Bowl restaurant normally gives three points, but it can also give two to five points depending on how well you do during the event whenever it happens. Playing darts provides anywhere from two to five points. At the batting cages, you will get two points for hitting one to four balls and three points for hitting five or more balls. Fishing provides two points. Fixing the broken laptop you can obtain provides five points. Choosing to accept Futaba's invitation for October 10th will provide five points. You can obtain two points from the diner in Shibuya by ordering the totem pole. Depending on the customer, you can obtain three points for working at the bar in Shinjuku. Completing the Big Bang Burger challenge will provide two, three, and five points respectively for each level of the challenge. And finally, the drink stand in Shibuya Station will occasionally provide two points. Moving on to kindness, two confidants provide points for hanging out with them. Sojiro provides three or five points depending on the rank. And Shinya provides five points with the exception of his last rank, which only provides two. Working at the flower shop provides three points normally and five points if you succeed at the event whenever it happens. Finishing books that provide kindness will net you five to seven points. And each DVD that provides kindness will net you three points each until completion. Completing the one game that provides kindness will net you three points for completion and two points for failing. Each of the movies that you can see at the theater that provide kindness give five points the first time and two points thereafter. Tending to the plant in your room will provide two, three, or five points depending on the quality of the fertilizer you choose to give it. Fertilizer can be purchased from the flower shop in Shibuya or in Shinjuku. Accepting Ryuji's invitation for May 29th will provide you with five points, as will accepting Yusuke's invitation for August 5th. Selecting All is Forgiven during the Maid Cafe event scene will provide you with two points. Ordering the Nostalgic Steak from the diner in Shibuya will provide two points. Depending on the customer, you can get three points for working at the bar in Shinjuku. Cleaning LeBlanc will award two points. And finally, the drink stand in Shibuya Station will occasionally provide two points. Moving on to Charm, there are once again two confidants that provide points for hanging out with them. Yoshida provides three or five points depending on their rank, and Oya provides three or five points also depending on their rank. There are four opportunities to receive two points for answering questions correctly in class. Visiting the public bath will provide three points normally, but you will gain five points if you go on a Sunday or whenever it is raining. Completing any of the books that provide charm will net you five to seven points. And each DVD that provides charm will give you three points until completion. Each of the games that provide charm provide three points upon completion and two points for failing. Seeing any of the movies at the theater that provide charm will give five points the first time and two points thereafter. Making coffee at LeBlanc will give you two points, but this requires you to be rank two with Sojiro. Successfully dodging the chalk that Ushimaru throws at you in class will provide three points each time. Doing so requires you to have higher levels of proficiency, with rank 5 proficiency being a 100% chance. You will get 3 points for scoring above average on your exams, and 5 points for scoring in the top 10. Accepting An's invitation for July 17th, Yusuke's invitations for July 27th, August 8th, and August 11th, as well as Ryuji's invitation for August 3rd will provide increases of 5 points each. Working at the convenience store will provide 3 points normally and 5 points if you succeed at the event whenever it happens. Ordering an item at the maid cafe will provide 3 points, and ordering the special menu will provide 5 points. Ordering a fruit tea from the diner in Shibuya will provide 2 points. Depending on the customer, you can obtain 3 points while working at the bar in Shinjuku. Completing the Big Bang Burger challenge provides 2, 3, and 5 points for each corresponding level of the challenge. And finally, you can occasionally get 2 points from the drink stand in Shibuya Station. Now I didn't mention it up until this point, but it is also possible to randomly receive two points towards any social stat when going to bed. 
With all the information out of the way, I now want to go over the ways that you can increase the amount of points you gain when gaining points towards a social stat, as well as some other helpful things that you can do to make gaining points easier. First and foremost, Chihaya is your best friend for gaining social stats. Did I ever mention Chihaya is an incredibly useful confidant? I feel like I'm always mentioning how good she is. Anyways, at rank 1 you can go see Chihaya to make use of her luck reading perk. This increases the amount of points you would gain from a social stat of your choosing for the rest of the day by 50%. Needless to say, this can be a huge time saver when maxing out social stats. Next, there are a few books to look out for as well. The speed reading book that allows you to read two parts of a book in one time slot can be checked out from the school library starting on July 1st. Once available, the bookstore in Shinjuku sells a number of useful books that help out with many of the activities I mentioned above by making them easier. The big one to look out for though is Cinema Treasures. This book adds an entire music note worth of points to the amount gained whenever you would watch a movie at the theater or watch a DVD in your room. The ABCs of Crafting is another book from the Shinjuku bookstore that is nice as it provides an increased chance to gain extra points when making infiltration tools. The final book I want to mention is a bit difficult to come by if you don't know where to look. It's called Factorized Study Methods and is obtained from the mysterious trader Sakai who is located in the back alley in Kichijoji. You need to trade him a millimeter MRE, which can be obtained from the untouchable vending machine between July 26th and July 30th. Be sure not to miss this because it is your only opportunity. And that's about it. There are a lot of ways to increase social stats in Persona 5 Royal, and you have ample time to max them out alongside your confidants. Hopefully with the information I provided, you will have all that you need to maximize your time within Persona 5 Royal so that you can see all that the game has to offer. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Alternatively, you can catch me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rosalindgaming, where I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. And if this video has been helpful to you, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, take care.